What is going on guys and girls? My name is James Orthixi and welcome back today to Pokemon Trinity! How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back! Today it is time once again for a brand new episode here in our beautiful Pixamon world. Today, we're on top of the Mighty Waylord. I don't think I've ever stood on here before. <laughs> in case you're wondering, yes, we even have the back pattern on the back of the Waylord. I mean, as far as Waylords go, it's a pretty well detailed one. He's kind of flat though, but hey, you know, he's kind of a house as well, so it's sort of... Sort of one of those things, isn't it? But yeah, how's everyone doing? I hope you are good. So, in today's episode, um, basically, we're going to try and actually do what we were doing last episode. And the reason for that is quite simple. Last episode, we were looking for one of the legendary dogs. So, we were stalking the savannah biome. We were being super sneaky secret sausages. But we did not catch a legendary, no. We caught, well, we caught a legendary of types. We caught a legendary thick noodles. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so we did some training. We got a little bit distracted, admittedly. But hey, it was good because we finally managed to do a couple of our shiny trades that be, we had been waiting to do. Justin, on the other hand, he was so crazily prepared. He had, like, all of the cool evolutions. Is that blue shell the boss? It is. Oh, I will fight you. I will fight you. Oh, hey, 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 hey. Easy now. Easy now, Puddle. Um, but yeah, so we did loads and loads of cool uh, training. He got some amazing Pokemon. Uh, but the good news is we... Oh, it's gone. No, Shelda. Why? Ugh. So yeah, as I was saying, we got some really, really cool trades done. Um, and we got to see some really awesome Pokemon like Magmortar. We saw... Oh my goodness, what did we see? We got, uh, Justin got a Gengar as well, which had an amazing model on it. Uh, the Dusk Noir. Oh my goodness, that was so cool. But, to be honest with you, it is all about this bad boy. Oh, look at that. Our shiny Caesar. Look at that thing. It's so cool. It's really weird because, like, when you think about Scythers, and then you get the Scyther evolution, and it has, like, the Metal Coat evolution, it goes red. But with this one, because it's a Caesar and it's a shiny version, it goes green. Which is kind of like back like the original Scyther. But then again, the shiny one was like a darker green. It's really weird. They're all green. But I love it. Look how cool that looks. I'm so happy with that. And also, uh, just because we caught this, I think, a couple of episodes ago. Look how awesome that looks. <laughs> it's a shiny Gigalith. We caught like a shiny Boulder. It was just like sort of plopping about the Mesa biome. And look at that. That is such a cool model. It's not really going to be a Pokemon that we're going to use, but in terms of, like, Pokemon that look pretty cool, I think that looks pretty jazzy. Can we ride you? No, we can't ride you. Damn. All right, okay, okay. So, as I kind of mentioned, today we are going to be going on a quest, a hunt, a mission, a journey for a legendary dog Pokemon. But before we do, ladies and gentlemen, good news. Dun, 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 da. Dun, 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 da. Yes, once again, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for your continued support here in Pokemon Trinity. We managed to hit that like goal once again. You guys, you guys are always on point. I mean, look at this room. I think it was, I mentioned this last episode, but I think it was a good idea to go down the sides because I just think it looks really good. It kind of fills in the walls. And so far, we're actually doing pretty well. We're doing pretty good once again. So yeah, thank you very much for your continued support of the series. Once again, if we can try and hit that three and a half thousand likes, that would be incredible. And to be honest with you today, we're going to need it because we need some luck of the Derpichu. I mean, he's been very favorable sometimes, but the thing with the Derpichu is he giveth and then he taketh away. He's very difficult to please, but we're doing a pretty good job. So are we ready? Three, two, one, all hail! The Mighty Derpichu. Whew, right, okay, let's go. Um, I just realized something. And we had this all of last episode and I didn't notice it. And I've just noticed it now. Do you see my hotbar? It contains three glowstone dust and three redstone dust. Do you know where we got those from? Do you know? <laughs> that was the, uh, the Raikou legendary which uh, struggled itself to death. And in return, we didn't get the Raikou Legendary. No, we got three Glowstone Dust and three Redstone Dust. I mean, are you kidding me? This is just the biggest troll in the world. Get in the box. I don't want to see you again. Oh, that's a Razor Fang. Okay. Boop. Uh, have we got anything else that we can stash in here? No, we've got a couple of items which we can stick. We're starting to get some overflow chests here. We've picked up so many items. So we'll put King's Rock in there. We'll pick Razor Fang in there. Oh, we need to start charging an orb. Hmm. Do we have... Oh my goodness, do we not have any, um... Oh, there we go, we've got a Thunderstone. Okay, so I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're going to start charging an orb of Static Souls. 
I mean, the thing is, the Fiery Souls one is also really cool. We're going to have to do them all eventually. But boom, we've got our Static Souls Orb ready to charge. And let's go and pay a little trip to the Savannah Biome. So um, the cool thing about the Savannah Biome is, in case you're wondering, it's really close. <laughs> <laughs> like, I know a lot of the times I just jump cut to it, and then it's like, oh, I've changed biome really quickly. But literally, all I do is I fly there, and that's the savannah. I think in terms of, like, where we picked to put our waylord, we picked a really good biome. Um, because, yeah, we're literally here now. Boom. <laughs> so it's pretty good, right? Anyway, what we're going to do once again is we are going to try and hunt around and see what we get. So it's proving quite tricky to get these guys to spawn in the savannah. Um, so we've had two spawns, zero catches, and a lot of waiting, uh, which is tricky. So it's just a case of whatever happens, happens. I will be keeping an eye out though, of course, for shinies and bosses and all that jazz. And oh, just before I go and stand and fly about and probably get really, really annoyed. Uh, yeah, just a quick thank you once again to everyone that checked out my kit on kit.com. In case you didn't hear about that, it's just a, a random website. Um, that like shows it allows me to show you like all of the gear that I use and I've got like a few playlists there of like my YouTube setup and like starter kits and just games and stuff that I like uh, as I kind of mentioned it's not like a sponsorship thing I just really actually love the website I think it's great so yeah thank you very much to everyone that signed up and like left little hearts on my um, kits and stuff like that I do plan on keeping up to date with it and uh, adding new kits and new items and bits and pieces so uh, yeah just kind of a nifty little thing to have anyway Hmm. The struggle, I think, will be real this episode. I'm going to try my best because I feel in a legendary catching mood. So I've got... Oh, oh, actually, actually, before we do that, I've just realized I've got a level 44 Gigalith in my team, which is no good. So I'll tell you what we'll do. I'm going to go and change my party up a little bit. Um, and then we're going to keep hunting. So fingers crossed we get some shouts. Oh, but if we don't, I'm going to be very salty. Oh, yes. Okay, so, uh, yeah, update number one. I haven't found anything just yet, but boom. Look at that. An ultimate boss, Luxio. That's cool. So, yeah, the golden ones are, like, the top level bosses. That is a very, very fancy Pokemon. Oh, my goodness me. Look at you. You're very pretty. Okay, okay, I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll fight you. I think that's what we'll do. Okay, Earthquake. Boom. Yes, Earthquake is my go-to move. As long as it doesn't use anything electrical, we should be good for a two-hit kill here. Yeah, look at that. Boom. Okay, what are we going to get? What are we going to get? Oh, a Bug Gem, an Everstone, Inquiry Mail, Snow Mail, Bide, Fly. Oh, we got... What? We got an HM from a boss and Trick Room. What? <laughs> <laughs> so eight an HM was um oh, need arena get out of here dude um so yeah HM was one of the TMs that uh, one of the HMs that we got from I think the fifth or the sixth gym battle why would it be dropping from a boss that's so weird man okay so hmm I'm kind of still waiting it's probably been half an hour I think probably about that so nothing has spawned just yet but we found one golden ultimate oh boss which God. is always nice and cool uh it's gonna go nighttime now. Which is not ideal. I'm not sure if they spawn at night, actually. I'm actually not too sure. The one th the one that we haven't seen is Suicune. So maybe that one spawns at night. To be honest, any of the three I would be absolutely ecstatic about. Uh, I think Raikou would be my preferred one. But to be honest with you, I'm not on the stage where I'm particularly picky. I just want one of these things. Seeing as it's eluded us for a very, very long time. Um... And yeah, that would be ideal. So I kind of... The, the only problem is as well, is that I try and stay in the middle of the island. Because if we go too close to the edges, then it might favour an ocean or a river spawn instead of a savannah one. So I've got to kind of stay in the middle, which is a little bit tricky, especially because this is not a particularly big island. But hey, we'll keep we'll keep looking. We'll keep trying to find one. <sighs> we just got to get lucky. Come on, Derpachu. We all believe in you. Ah, so I was correct. Uh, just a quick little thing here. I um, I went and checked on, well, I don't think it's the official Pixmon on Wikipedia because I think that got taken down. But um, this would make complete sense because Raikou spawned day and dusk. Uh, Entei spawns in the daytime. And then Suicune spawns at night. So that would make total sense. And it's the reason why I don't think we've seen a Suicune yet because we haven't had anything spawn during the nighttime. So... That's cool. That's kind of good news. I mean, the Raikou is really the one that we want. So we're going to have to wait for the day dusk sort of time to cycle. Uh, I think now it's already past it. So, I mean, that's such a small window to spawn. Um, 
which is tricky. So it almost seems like I think Raikou, I would say, is the rarest one, which makes a couple of episodes ago even more annoying, to be honest with you. But hey, <laughs> not ideal, really. Is that a boss? No, it's just a regular Growlithe. Oh, all right. I'm just going to sit here in the night. I'm going to sit here in the dark and just chill and wait. I'm just going to wait. Ah, James, recording, recording, recording. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Pokemon has spawned as a fan of I am. Ah. <laughs> oh my goodness, I was waiting. <laughs> oh, I had to turn my recording software off because I'd literally filled it. I've been waiting. I'm, I'm not going to even. I'm gonna, it's been two hours. It's two hours, lads. Are you kidding? Yes, 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 yes. So I was actually reading up just then on the things that actually spawn in these areas. And um, I actually didn't realize that I thought all three of the legendary dogs spawned in the savannah. It turns out that only one. Oh, there it is. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, right. Right, lads. Right, lads. Here we go. It's revenge time. It is time for revenge. Milotic. Oh, no, that's a terrible decision. Fancy lamp. Get out there, buddy. Boom. Chandelure. Ooh, Chandelure. See ya. <laughs> right, calm down. <laughs> so, yeah, I was reading through it. Um, I thought that this would be a good biome to get all three of them. Chandelure. Because Raikou spawns in Savannah. Entei, uh, no, not the Entei, uh, the Suicune spawns on the beach biome. Now, the cool thing about the savannah is it is surrounded by little beaches, which is perfect, which is probably one of the better places to be able to catch it. Then I thought that Entei spawned in, like, the the, 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 the hilled areas of the, um, the savannah. Turns out it actually spawns in Extreme Hills Mesa. So, two out of three. My bad. I, I, I've been saying for a long time that I thought it was all three. Turns out, no, it was actually just two. Um... Okay, we need to be nice and careful here. I, I'm a bit worried these moves are a bit powerful. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna uh, no, uh, no. Oh, I'll tell you what we'll do. Before we even do anything, I'm gonna chuck a quick ball. <laughs> um, but yeah, so um, the good news is we haven't been wasting our time because we do have a possibility of two of the three spawning in this area, uh, which is good. So we didn't get it too wrong. I'm gonna get Milotic out, which is not a very good decision. If it uses anything electric, but uh, we're just gonna hit you with uh, Aquatel, try and weaken you up a bit. Oh, did it not hit? Oh, it's using Reflect, you clever sausage. All right, we're just gonna try and weaken it out. Oh man. <laughs> okay, I feel I feel this is the way that the battle is going to go. We're gonna use Bite. We're gonna weaken you down with Bite. I think that's what we did like. What? What just happened? What just happened? Are you, uh, <laughs> are, are you kidding? Are you actually kidding me? What? It said Chestnut was forced out. And the battle ended. I s Oh no, no lads. Why? Why would this happen to us? It's been two hours. I've waited for one spawn in the Savannah bio. And it was the Raikou. And it's sausage does thrice. Why? Can someone explain to me what just happened there? Because I actually don't know. I've never seen that before ever. Um. Um. So I, I, I went on the Wikipedia here. Which I've got in front of me. And I thought, okay, maybe... Maybe Raikou has, like, a special ability or something? But the two effects that I'm seeing are pressure and its hidden ability is inner focus, which prevents Pokemon from flinching. Right. A chestnut. Don't you dare have a crazy special ability. Spe no, it doesn't... Quiet nature? It's... I don't get it. Powers up grass type moves when the Pokemon is in trouble. What? Why did... I'm just... I, I don't know what just... Why? I mean, <laughs> I've said it before. But why? Why are they so hard to catch? I've quested. This is not my first rodeo. And I've been. And I've waited. And I've stalked for this Pokemon. And I hit it with a bite. And it... I, I, don't, I don't know what happened. Like, genuinely, I'm really confused. If someone could explain that one to me, I would be... That didn't happen the last time. 
Raikou, right, confirmed. Like, we've got an official confirmation here, right? Raikou is the biggest jerk in Pixelmon. We're going to throw that one out there now. Um, I'm so salty right now. I mean, I mean, seriously, like, I am, I am, the, the salt is real. The, 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 I'm mining in the salt mines. The saltier than the ocean and the sea ocean salt and salt chips. I, I, I Oh, why? I think I know why this is. It's because, it's because, it's because I think what we've been doing is we've been playing Super Minecraft Maker and we've been hailing a Derpichu which isn't in Pixamon. I think that's what it is. And the Derpichu in Pixamon, the one true Derpichu, he's mad at us. He's so mad, man. And he's like, you know what? You know what? You know what? What are you going to have for dinner? I'm going to serve you up a big old portion of sausage. <laughs> That's what he said. Oh, Derpichu, why? <laughs> oh. Well, that's kind of ruined that plan, hasn't it? That's ruined that plan. So, what do I do now? Hmm? Do I wait another 28,000 hours? <sighs> hmm. Not ideal. Not ideal. Well, I think that's going to be about it for this episode. Yep. We're going we're gonna to leave it like that. We, we're going to leave it on like that. Which is, if, if that's how you want to play it, Raikou. If that's how you want to play it, buddy. No, I'm no longer friends with Raikou. Sizor is now my best friend. I, I mean... Oh. <laughs> I, I, I'm looking forward to finding out what happened then. I'm going to watch it back when I edit it. But it's, I, I've never seen that before. I assume it would be some kind of special ability that Raikou has, but it's not on Wikipedia. Oh, man. Oh, no, look, hang on. Well, the good news is the one small crumb of comfort is that we've been on this server so long that we've got another mystery egg. So, at least on the plus side, next episode we have five mystery eggs to crack. <sighs> I still want this Raikou. I'm not going to lie. I want this Raikou so bad right now. If I had a Master Ball, I'd throw it. But we don't have Master Balls currently. I don't know when we're going to get Master Balls. But <sighs> there we have it. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you've enjoyed this episode, <laughs> please remember to put me in that like button. <laughs> oh, pity me, please. <laughs> if we could try and hit 3,500 likes, that would be incredible. And also, if you're not yet subscribed, go for it because we do <laughs> we do picks a month and so salty. But until next time, thank you once again for watching. It's been such a pleasure. As always, thanks. Razzy up!